Hello friends, welcome to Anjish Tutor. In this video, we are going to create a modified aerofoil geometry using ANSYS design modeler. This geometry is like this, it is a web edged aerofoil geometry. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to create this geometry using ANSYS design modeler. For this, we are going to start with creating the geometry in ANSYS design modeler. Right click on this geometry and select new design modeler geometry. And for this tutorial, we have selected NACA 0012 model of aerofoil, which is widely used in CFD applications. For this step, we are going to import all these coordinate points of this aerofoil into this ANSYS design workspace. Select the required plane. Now, go to concept tab and insert a 3D curve. Select definition as from coordinate file. Select the coordinate file of the aerofoil. You can download this coordinate file from the link provided in the description. Select the units as a meter and click on generate. A 3D curve has been created using the aerofoil coordinate files. This is the 3D curve. Now we are going to convert this 3D curve into a 2D surface, aerofoil surface. At this go to concept tab and select surface from edges. Select the 3D curve as the edge, click on apply, then click on generate. Now this is our aerofoil 2D surface. Now we want to modify the aerofoil surface, convert this to a 3D modified aerofoil geometry. For this we are going to draw a curve, sinusoidal curve in the ZX plane, the ZX plane. Now this curve and draw the curve. Insert a new sketch. Go to sketching. Select the polyline tool. Draw the sketch. Now right click and select open end. Now go to constants. Select the equal length of this two side. Now go to dimensions. Select this vertical dimension. Now select the angle. Right click and select alternate angle. Again select alternate angle. Let this angle to be 100 and this vertical distance to be 0 0.25. Now we are again going to put the vertical distance of this line that is the same as the Previous one that zero point two five. So that it would maintain a symmetry with the another line. Now we are going to apply the fillet option between these two lines to make it a curve. For this go to modify tool and select fillet option. Enter the fillet radius. Fillet radius to be one zero point one five. Here the first and second line and this is the fillet. Now we are going to put constraints so that the curve should be tangent z axis. Now go to modify tool. Now put the dimension. Now 
Now provide the radius of this curve till at equal length. Make these two lines as equal length. Click on generate. Now we are going to replicate this curve into multiple times. For this, we are going to select the copy option. Now select this line, this arc, and this line. Right click and select end. Set paste handle. Select one point of this end of this line. Paste it at this but this point. Zoom out and paste another one. Then now right click and select end. Now zoom to see whether it has taken this snaps properly or not. You can see there is a separation between two lines. So we are going to coincidence constraints. Go to constraints and select coincidence option. Select these two lines. Make it coincidence with each other. Similarly, these two lines, two points of this line. Make it coincidence. Now we are going to apply this equal length. Now go to modify and select. Delete option. Select these two lines. Similarly, this one. Now this is a continuous curve connected with each other. Now this curve is going to help us during the sweep formation of this aerofoil. Now go to modeling. Select this sketch and select always show sketch. Go to create menu and select sweep. Select the aerofoil as the profile and the path as the curve. Select add frozen option and alignment as global axis. Now click on generate. This is the sweep of the aerofoil along this curved path as you have drawn, but do you need a straight line at this end of this aerofoil. For this, we are going to extrude this aerofoil geometry up to this end of this geometry. Now select the extrude option, select the curve, select the aerofoil geometry, now select extrude option. Select the face as the geometry, add frozen direction as this normal. Next thing type is the end of this surface of this another end. Now click on generate, it has been extruded. Now we are going to use the boolean tool to keep this extrusion as well as this curved portion of this sweep surface. For this we are going to use the boolean tool, so the create menu and select boolean tool, select the operation as unite, select these two bodies sweep as well as the extruded surface and click on apply, then click on generate. Our required geometry has been gen now generated. This is the combination of both the curved as well as the extruded aerofoil. You can also, to analyze it properly, we can create a enclosure over here around its body to uh, replicate the surrounding air environment around this aerofoil 
go to tools and select enclosure now put the offset distance from this body towards x y and z direction positive x axis y axis z axis and negative x and y and z so that this geometry will be kept in middle of a enclosure air surrounding enclosure we can also increase the enclosure domain as per our requirement here we do not need to subtract the aerofoil from this outer uh, enclosure because it is by default it is has been boolean subtracted from this our domain you can also check that by hiding the aerofoil geometry you can see imprint of this aerofoil in this geometry within the enclosure geometry fill the two solids and make it as one part the surface the surface body and the line body as you do not need this two one geometry is complete comment below if you want the missing and fluent solver setup process thank you keep learning and keep exploring